This is a quick video to document the current state of the project I'm working on. This is a Maple R5 from Leaf Labs. It is an Arduino clone based on an ARM chip. It's mostly pin compatible to the Arduino with the exception that there is a female socket here where there is normally a six pin ICSP header. This prevents you from using a lot of the prototyping shields that are out there. Uh, I did find a solution though. I used a prototyping shield from SparkFun for the Arduino Mega and I was able to put a, a socket here in the prototyping section so that it will engage the, the maple. This project is going to be a multi-purpose one. The device will function as a go-to uh, computer for a motorized telescope. I'm in the process of building the drive right now. I've got my red ascension and declination stepper motors here and just in the process of building the gear, the, the gear drive for that. Um, but the project will also allow for the use of a laser instead of a telescope a bright green laser, for instance, at nighttime will be easily visible and allow the user to point out the objects in the sky. And when used in that capacity, it serves as a sort of a guided planetarium of sorts, using the actual sky as your uh, backdrop. And it will display information on various objects, whether they be planets, asteroids, or stars, galaxies, nebulas, etc. I am designing this around the Mead Autostar. Anyone that's familiar with that uh, device will probably recognize some of the menu options I have. Um, a couple of other points here. I have a GPS hooked up right here so that I can get the position which is useful for, uh, for setting up the telescope. I also have an RTC, an external one. The, the arm that's in here actually has a built-in RTC but I haven't gotten around to using it yet and it doesn't have battery backup. Uh, I've also added a three-axis accelerometer and three-axis uh, magnetic sensor here as well. This serves as a very, very useful tilt compensated compass. For my input, I am using, of all things, a PlayStation 2 controller. This is using a SPI input. I took an old USB uh, converter for the PlayStation and I hacked it and put this device together. So I'll go ahead and put this uh, put this together here and show the device in operation. I'm going to put the phone down because I've only got one set of hands. Oops. So I've got the shield snapped on here now. Got the VFD here in front of me. I'm using a VFD and in conjunction with the other devices I have, the power output required for this is about, I'd say it's about uh, 600, 700 milliamps. The power supply on the Maple, however, uh, has issues driving more than about half an amp at the uh, 5 volt input source that I'm using. So I am using an external power supply and I'm just plugging it directly into the, to the VN on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the Maple. So I'll go ahead and uh, start this up. Make sure I get the uh, polarity here because I don't have any polarity protection. All right. So the uh, VFD should come up here in a second. All right, so on this display, I've got the time, date, and my current right ascension and declination position. The time is currently incorrect. I intentionally went in here and skewed the clock so I can go, uh, demonstrate a couple of features. I can go into the menu by hitting the triangle. Then I'll flip this uh, LED on. And the menu is, again, based upon the Mead Auto Star, so the items are roughly similar to that device. So I will go into setup here. And I will go into the date. 
I'll manually set the date. Currently, it's uh, 5.46. Now, this is reporting in UTC time until I get an option to change the display settings and put time zone data in here. So I'm going to change this to 3, say, 3.21. RTC is set. Now if we go back in here, it shows 321. Go back to the uh, main screen, it shows 321. So the other option, I, the other item I've added to this is under date or time. I can synchronize it from the GPS. I can see that the date's correct. Time, however, is not. So I simply hit X to sync it. And now the date's correct. Some of the other items I have in here so far, I have uh, the ability to calculate events. Uh, for instance, Sunrise here in Phoenix, Arizona is going to be at 12.55 and 31 seconds UTC. And Sunset will be at 2.05 and 24 seconds UTC. So that's the current state of the project. I hope to get another video once I get everything set up with, with, the, with the gear drives and get it up on an actual mount and populate the database. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be using is a SD card for storing the, the object database. This uh, device has a decent amount of RAM on board. It's got 128K on board, but I feel the uh, need to populate the database using a uh, a source that I can modify through my computer easily, so I'm just going to go with an SD card. So I will post follow-up videos as I uh, progress with this project. Thanks for watching.